What is up guys and welcome to the Beyond Sanas here, my name is Shanks and today we are coming back to the multiplayer scene in BFME 1 on the patch 2.2 with a 3v3 match on the map Lebanon. This lush green land in southern Gondor lies where the Anduin river completes its journey into the Bay of Belfalas. Isengard, Gondor, Gondor versus Rohan, Rohan, Isengard, okay? And I get to play with the Gondor faction this time, so no curse, no Isengard for me. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be fun, boys, okay? Let's get it started. All right. Harry Green Took is required in every single situation. And what we wanna do at the beginning of the game is to creep, okay? That's the plan. Creeping very important. And for the creeping part, we will need the help of Pippin. So, you know, we have a couple of options here. And I think one of the options is to kind of rush Boromir. And I think it's going to be like a solid threat because Boromir, even if we don't make infantry ourselves, our Isengard ally will make combos. So we can give Boromir with his leadership to our ally and he will be good to go. Okay, so. Nice, ooh, creeping. I mean, Pippin can tank this, no problemo. That's what you want to do. You know, you want to use your Pippin first so he can tank the damage, the arrows from the Goblin Warriors. And your soldiers can just, you know, kind of tunnel vision focus on the Goblin layer. Kill the last one so we get one more farm. We will build stable later on. So we will need each farm to get a greater amount of food bonus, making our Knights of Gondor cost a bit, a bit less. Very important. Cloak to share experience, so he will get level 2, almost level 3. And now I want to save up for Boromir. You see, leveling up without hitting, because that's like, that's called sharing experience, very important feature. And later on we can use Boromir to creep the troll layers in the middle. Remember Boromir is one of the few melee heroes that can actually solo a troll by himself without having to need any levels. Because his passive is knocked down, and in a fair 1v1 fist fight, Troll would actually smash Boromir, but he can't fight against Boromir. Boromir is cheating, you know? <laughs> he is knocking you on the ground, and then you can't fight back. That's the power and the strength of Boromir. And later on, we will go for the stable. The same situation here, we want to use Pippin to actually get levels for free. Get one more blacksmith. Cash looting is a bad thing. So one thing I can recommend to you is, guys, make sure that you are not cash looting, that you are spending your money in time and wisely. And we are getting so many power points collected. Our Pippin is level 3. We can fight this. That's beautiful. And the last spot is going to be safe for the stable. Remember, we are on the map Lebanon. That means we have no castle. And the camp of Gondor is kind of, I don't know, it's kind of strong and weak at the same time. Let's throw rocks on the Rohirrim. The good, thing, the good thing about the camp is that it has only one entrance. Creep. Should I heal him though? I'm not sure. I, I want to actually heal him, but maybe I can cloak him. Go. Oh, cloak. Oh, that was close. Very green took. I could have healed him actually. Maybe I should have healed him. Then we could actually kill the Rohirrim. But it's fine, you know. I want to save up for um, Boromir. So if, if Boromir needs help, then I can heal him. My ally is going for the Uruk pit level 2, that's good. And now we have a stable. So, the plan is to get knights and be full upgrades. So we need shields, we need heavy armor, and we also need forge bleeds to make them very strong. Amazing. Okay. Do it, Boromir. <gasps> no way, dude. No, are you kidding me? Holy, please not. Oh, man. Uh, okay, let's, let's trample them. I want to actually fight them, and then I can use land, you know, as I trample. So they have the Warchant buff. Oh, this is level 3. Oh, boy. Let's heal him. Trample. <gasps> he hit one. Oh, I want to quit this game. Get me out of this game. Get me out. Hey, sir, I would like to have the worst start ever. 
And on top of that, my Gondor Knights that just came out of the stable should run into the Carnage and he should get a lucky hit off that I, that I lose my whole battalion. Like, that's legit the worst possible kickoff into the 3v3 match, okay? Holy. I mean, the worst part is we lost our Boromir, we lost the Knights, and we also give a lot of experience for free to Lords from our opponent. So he will have level 5 Lords, and my Boromir couldn't get level 4 to unlock his leadership. Like, how bad? Holy. Okay, focus, okay? It's time to try hard this game. My first multiplayer game, you know, in a 3v3, and I'm not gonna lose this one, okay? Try hard, try hard mode activated. Boromir, I got you, I need you back, my friend. Alright, so stable level 3, that's good, that means 50% faster production speed. Our money is not looking that good. Uh, there is one more creep, we can take this one with Boromir to get him to level 4. I mean, his leadership is really important. My opponent is trying to crash me. But I will just... Oh my! Yes, Palantir. Okay, I'm gonna try to make them run. Oh, please, micro! I'm not hosting this game. It's so hard to micro with this unit. Please let me live. Please let me... Thank you. Okay? So I can run into my into the pipeline of my ally. But my ally is kind of going ham without upgrades. I don't think that's gonna be a good idea. And he's also not switching the formation. So basically, the porcupine damage is only appealing if you are switching to the formation, the porcupine formation. And they will get one shot from the trample, but he didn't. It's fine. My borrow is gonna get level 4 out of this one. And I need a well. I need to demolish this blacksmith and go for the well. Borrow, you focus down this. I like crippled the Boromir from Rohan, but he has no chance to kill him. You know, without upgrades going forward, you have no Lord leadership, you have no upgrades. It's kind of a big mistake. But at least he's keeping them busy, you know? He's keeping Rohan and Isengard busy, and I like that one. Because I messed up the start, and he can now buy me some time. Oh boy. Alright, I thought my ally has the outpost actually. But Rohan, I need to, we need to kind of find a solution to this outpost. This outpost being very close to our, us, and we don't want the opponent to control this area. You know, very, very important area, those outposts, especially when it's a good faction that control is controlling the outpost, because they have, like, the recovery with the well, they've increased leadership with the statue. So we need to find a solution to destroy this, so we will have a better standing point if we have the outpost control. The problem is my ally went for three towers, it's an outpost from him, it's a big investment of money, the outpost isn't making any money for you, and also the towers are not very tanky in this game. But maybe I can kill Legolas. Smash him. Let's go for the well. Those structures give me a lot of power points and experience points, watch my knights. Okay, we killed them, that's great. Took the power point jump now. You see, we get a quarter. Of power point from destroying one single structure those structures for the good factions are very valuable right they cost nothing almost they cost 250 but they provide so much utility but then in exchange if you lose them if you don't demolish them in time you actually will feed a lot of power points to your opponent this kind of like makes it up a little bit at least that they are so incredible strong Okay, so I need to send my Boromir back to my Isengard ally. I don't know man, if I can define them, you know? The Isengard has Lord's level 5, he has plenty of combos, and I have like, only horses. What can horses do against pikemen combos, you know? And my, my ally has not even leadership. I mean, not even leadership and not even armor on his units. Oh, they are sandwiching him. So I need to... Oh boy. I mean, this Rohan has no upgrades either. I want to go for the Armory, guys. Hold on a second. Destroy the structure. Deal. Go for the Armory. Alright, he's demolishing some of the structures, but it's fine. I have almost the power points for the Grey Company. But I, I'm assuming I will go for the Rohirrim summon. I would love to go for Gandalf, but I think I need Rohirrim eventually. Alright. Go for the structures. We can fight this even. I mean, he has Tyrion leadership, but I think I have all upgrades. So I'm going to be stronger. My ally should be building wells there a long time ago. Okay, I need to summon the Rohirrim boys. Oh, 
I mean, we can crush this Aragorn. He has no Anduril. Let's crash the combo. And without Anduril, Boromir is faster than Aragorn. So we have the cheese potential on him. And my opponent has no cripple. Remember, he crippled before, so he can't stop my Boromir. Boromir will need time to kill Aragorn, but Aragorn can't get away from him. That's the thing. And my Rohirrim got smashed, dude. The pikeman combo, so strong against horses. Oh, the Saruman from my ally got kind of crushed. Oh, but we killed him. That's huge. Oh, we got actually like three levels out of that, man. Holy. That's amazing. We have even now the four Gondor ability. That's great. So strong, these combos, man. So strong. I don't want to lose my level five. Get away, please. Just in time. I have enough money now for Gandalf. But I need to be everywhere, you know? But again, I will be everywhere. I will try my best to win this game. Boro! So many pikemen. Holy, dude. Okay. Okay. Our Boro got saved. That's all it matters, okay? We are able to change the history. Because in the films, he died. But in this game, he is not going to die. At least not for now. But we have Gandalf the White. It has to be good for something. So now we gotta keep attention on this um, lures from the opponent. If he wastes his cripple on our Boromir, and that's what we need to try to beat, right? We need to try to beat him into using it on Boromir. So we are not gonna be scared with our Gandalf. So knowing that Lourdes has cripple on cooldown, Gandalf can approach and kill him. Okay, we can also go. All right. <laughs> Okay, so we need to make, make, we need to beat him. Our Horn of Condor is on cooldown. We need to beat him, okay? I'm assuming he will use the cripple on my Boromir. He doesn't know that we have Gandalf on the field. Use it. Just use it, man. I'm in front of your face. Use it. I'm gonna try to pre prevent, like, them running. Okay, he used it. Big, big, he used it. Okay, okay, okay. I can use for Gondor to get a bit more tankiness. Where are you going, Lord? Lords? You are, you are not going anywhere. You are not going anywhere. The reason why you was able to kill Boromir at Am Amon Hen is because Gandalf wasn't there. But here we have Gandalf up on the field. Okay? You don't stand a chance. Let's go for the structures. We can kill this Legolas once again. He healed him. We blasted level 7 Gandalf. Okay? Two levels. 20 seconds after he has been recruited. That's amazing. I don't know whose land this is, though. Have to tell but i will come to this location i want to kill this legola so badly oh be careful don't die level three building so tanky i like healed we have also healed for the worst case but when there is gandalf on the field from me i don't like to use heal on anything else but gandalf okay all right come 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 Problem is my ally is actually making rangers against Rohirrim. It's like making um, ants against fire army. No, that's not very effective. Here's some tower guards. But the thing about tower guard combination from Gondor versus the pikeman combination of Isengard is the tower guards losing the revenge damage once they are combined, okay? I actually want to destroy the citadel. Blast him. No, oh, we have no blast. Oh, but we can maybe kill the student. Hit him one time. One time. Give him a laugh tap. Nice. Now, where are you, where are you king? Okay. But the Isengard from our opponent used the freezing rain. We have lost all the leadership. But we killed the student. That's amazing. Okay. And we also dealt tremendous amount of damage to this Rohan. And they had to use the rain defensively. That's a win-win situation in my book. Yes, we need to retreat. We can't finish him. But I think... Forcing your opponent to use those kind of things defensively is always like a good thing, you know? Look, they have no Warchan now for this army. Aragorn has still no Anduril, so he's very slow. Lourdes will be able to outrun him. He has no catch potential on Saruman either. So it's a very good situation for us. I'm gonna make actually some... Uh, trebuchet, you know, for the... War like having the plan T. T for trebuchet, okay? We have five power points too. Okay. Good. Go for the workshop. There we go. 
waypoint there so the trebuchet can go to this location now let's help our ally and i will type him that i should be getting the outpost because then i can build statue and well for my isengard ally okay and that's the best combination having good and evil in one team because the good can kind of negate the weakness of the evil evil's weakness is the lack of sustain and good can offer this okay so my ally on the left doesn't push so i need to kind of be everywhere we're gonna use double statue there and build double statue we have almost the uh, eagles but i'm pretty sure i will actually go for oh the fireball was kind of it's okay though it's kind of wasted and we can use the mobility in the situation so my ally can kind of fight the big fight and i can go for the harassment on the structures okay you gotta keep in mind that we have um the heal on cooldown i will blast this and i one shot them though that's the question they are highly leveled and uh, nah, i didn't one shot them but i actually heavily damaged them that's good i want to be careful though because isn't is coming but he crippled the saruman from my ally that's good can use the horn horn of helm hammer hand i want i want to kill this dude where's my farm yet chunk him kill him kill 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 kill, kill. i have no heal i have no heal i have no heal ah run run oh there was the carnage from this dude is so strong the horses got slowed down but we actually kind of slaughtered him now we can go back in with can after we have heal in cloud break too I can heal from my uh, from uh, my ally too. I, I'm gonna heal you with. Nah, just don't go back. It's fine now. Like I healed him, but I think he didn't notice. Even if your abilities are on cooldown. Ooh, the glow! <laughs> it's the same glow like the glorious charge. But like I said, we are on the beta version. So before you couldn't tell the visually the effect of the foregone ability from Boromir. Now you can tell it. And with any other color but white, it kind of looks not very good. So we're sticking around for now, but it's the beta version with the white. You can let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoy the white color for the foregone durability, you know? So you know when it starts, when it's on three, when it's on cooldown. Okay, is this, is, is this guy... There's still no history. Uh, I mean, Anduril. Okay. Oh yeah, he bought under in the last second. Otherwise, he would have been dead. Well, blasters, take this. I'm a servant of the sacred fire. Now with with this, do oh he has covered the land. Oh, back, 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 back. Abort mission. Aragorn is mad. And the Isengard from his from my opponent is coming to me. We need to avoid Lourdes at all cost. Okay. Oh, my ally lost the... Uh, maybe he doesn't know this, guys. Watch this, guys, okay? Look, guys, I have a pre crazy plan in my mind, okay? Wish me the best of luck. Because he's focused on the front side fight. And he doesn't know that my Ganov is behind. Guys, is it going to be successful? He doesn't notice! He doesn't notice! <laughs> Let's go! That's a big fight for us. Boom! Faramir has shown his quality. Level. Oh my goodness, he crippled my Boromir. He. Okay, you know what? I, I, I'm. I, oh, I'm sorry for Boromir for losing you, but let's be honest. Your life is not as important as the life from the wizard. <laughs> I like you, Boromir. He's my second favorite hero of Gondor. Then Pippin, and then last Faramir, because Faramir, you know. He, he couldn't show his. I mean, actually, I take it back. He showed his quality by killing Aragorn. I mean, his Lord is level 10, and his Cripple has, like, a very short duration. A uh, short cooldown, I mean. Boom! Level 9! Wizard Gandalf the White. Ladies and gentlemen, you gotta smash the like button if I manage, and I will try my hardest to do that, get him to level 10. We are still missing a whole level, and remember, each level you take will make the next level even harder. So the requirements from level 1... To a level 5 to level 6 is like 5 times lower than the requirements from level 9 to level 10. 
So making him get the one full level is going to be a difficult thing to do. But a deal is a deal. If I get him to level 10 and use a juicy water of power, you need to smash the like button. They have almost EOD. And I'm very scared of this Isengard army. I think it's very, very strong. So, and I have only horses. I have some trebuchet, but I'm using them kind of for like only defensive purposes. And um, trying to win without them. Oh, Legolas. Okay, that's going to be helpful to get a bit more experience. Yeah, Legolas. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Kill him. Take this. Okay, got a decent experience out of that one. That's good. Very good, actually. My ally is holding the outpost and he's bringing rams. All right. All right. All right. I don't know about that one. Like, isn't it a bit too late for the rams? I'm not sure. I mean, why rams? Because the base is open. What are you going to... Okay, I, I don't want to criticize. All right, let's go for the blast. Blast him. Boo -hoo -hoo. They don't you have my sword. Thanks so much for the follow, appreciate it, on Twitch. And by the way, guys, you should be following my Twitch channel as well. If you haven't already, you can find the link for that in the description down below. When you're watching this over here at YouTube. I'm not streaming right now frequently, but I will after the summer break. So coming back from my vacation around September, uh, middle of the September, I will start streaming more and more often. And I would love to meet you guys, see you guys in the live stream, in the chat too, you know. It's pretty nice to have to to get the chance to chat with people who have the same passion like I do, for example, in this case, about the battle for Middle Earth Kings. Alright, we are only one power open away from getting to summon the off breakers. We can avoid this. I'm, I'm just going for the one extra power point though, I'm missing. I just want to ignore this all. Because it's a very hard for me fight for me to take. They have used heal. It's a very hard fight for me to take, guys. Okay. I'm just gonna go for the structures and hope that I will get the power when I need to crush the Isengard army, you know? This army is worthy of the EOD. It's worthy of the EOD. I'm also missing a little bit for the War of Power. Oh look, killing those high level units is so reward rewarding. It's so rewarding. Go back, 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 go back. Okay, we have EOD boys. Oof, that's gonna be big. That's gonna be big. I summon you to fulfill your oath. Where are you running? Oh, heal? Okay, I'm, I want to kill you, Saruman. You traitor. There can be only one Lord of the Rings, and he does not share his power. You, the wisest and the greatest of us, you should have known it better. And now, I am gonna replace you. Oh, the fireball. But hey, 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 you guys remember the deal? That's like the perfect situation too. We kill the original white wizard and we unlock the level 10 out of that. Like this is destiny. This has to be destiny, okay? Oh, my ally is gonna get smashed now with the power of the world icing guard. <laughs> Dude, now you can tell me whatever do you want. I'm a coward. I'm not gonna fight this with my Gandalf. My Gandalf is almost dead, you know, and I don't wanna lose him before using the water power. So, the thing is, even if I try to kill him with my lightning sword, it won't be enough to kill him. So, I need the full charged lightning sword, plus I need the Eastery. So, that means he has enough time to just walk up to me and hit me once, and I'm dead. So. Like there are situations in which you gotta take the risk when it's about your castle and or your camp and you are about to lose the game if you don't do anything then yeah but it, in this at this point i'm not losing too much i'm losing outputs who cares you know all right knowing that this is on cooldown now we can go for the rohan and guys i want you to be prepared i want you to be ready for about what's for that what's about to come okay i know you guys like black magic i know you guys like middle earth and this will be a juicer, okay? Watch this. Only looking for the opportunity, only fishing for it. Okay, I found the opportunity. You ain't moving. Cloud break time. Oh, okay. 
You can watch on all you want. It doesn't matter. The war of power, baby. Okay, it doesn't... We can now kill this guy. Theodine King. <laughs> Dude, you don't want to mess with a Gandalf level 10. And there are two Gandalfs on your screen. Good luck with that one, buddy. Take this. Looks like Theodine is light sensitive after all. And that's what would happen if, you know... Ganav wouldn't waste his time trying to convince Theodine and trying to release him from the spell, but just kill him. I like Theodine, dude. He had like the best battle speech at the uh, Minas Tirith. So I was kind of sad that he died. Very sad. But I was more so sad when Boromir died. Take this. Alright. Rohan is about to be defeated. What a performance, guys, okay? What a performance. What a performance. 1v9. Am I 1v9 in this game? Being everywhere, middle, top, left, bottom, everywhere. After a disastrous start into the game. Dude, I could have not have a better, uh, I mean, a worse start than I did. Losing my, losing the crypt from Boromir, losing the level 4 potential, losing Boromir, losing my first knight. Missing my heal and wasting my Alvin Wood. Like, come on. <laughs> I would have to... I would have liked to get the pick package of the war start ever, please. GG. Now you can have it. Okay, so it's a 3v... Uh, actually, he left. So basically now it's going to be a 3v1 situation. No, I don't know if he left or not. But this Isengard is fighting until the very end. And I like that one, okay? Just bring all the siege weapons now. Just why not? But remember, we used the LD before he used Balrog, and knowing this, and the fact that Eudi and Balrog have the same cooldown, we don't need to be worried about the next Balrog. Four failing guys, we can summon also. Every, everything, let's summon everything. Boom. Beautiful blast, but he will die. Doesn't matter. Go, go, go. I mean, he's being sandwiched at this point. I can blast now too. I have a plan, boys. Look. What I'm gonna do. Watch my movement. Watch my movement. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Okay, stay behind the furnace. Okay. Yeah, look, 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 look. Big brain. Oh, he's break big brain too, demolishing it. But what does it matter? Take this. If heal. Dude, this lord with the carnage is hitting very hard, but it, uh, it's not hitting enough. If he'll be killed him back to full HP and he's gonna call it GG and that's gonna be a GG indeed. What a game. What a game guys. GG well played. I hope you enjoyed this game in this video. If you like more of this in the future, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave a like to this video. It helps quite a lot. I will see you all next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out boys.